Ever wondered what makes a malignant narcissist different from other narcissists? Well, let's dive into it. The term malignant narcissist refers to a specific type of narcissist who exhibits particularly severe and harmful traits. This isn't your run-of-the-mill narcissism. Malignant narcissists combine the characteristics of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD with traits of antisocial personality disorder known as ASPD. This potent mix results in an increased level of aggression, manipulation, and a striking lack of empathy compared to what we might call classic narcissists. It's like they've turned up the dial on the narcissism stereo, and it's playing a tune that's far from harmonious. These individuals aren't just self-obsessed, they're also prone to exploiting others without a second thought. So, it's a combination of aggressive, manipulative behavior and lack of empathy that sets malignant narcissists apart. But how does it manifest? Let's find out in the next scene. The characteristics of malignant narcissism can be quite alarming. Let's delve into the five key characteristics that define this complex personality disorder. Firstly, we have grandiosity and entitlement. Malignant narcissists have an inflated sense of self-importance. They genuinely believe they are superior to others and are entitled to special privileges. It's not just about having a high self-esteem, it's about a deeply rooted conviction that they stand above the rest. Next is exploitation and lack of remorse. These individuals don't hesitate to use and manipulate others for personal gain. They view people as tools to be used, discarded, and replaced. And the most disturbing part? They feel little to no remorse for their actions. Then come sadism and aggression. This might be the most unsettling trait. Malignant narcissists may derive pleasure from inflicting pain or suffering on others. This can manifest in various forms, from emotional torment to physical abuse. The fourth characteristic is pathological lying and deceit. They are masters of manipulation and control, using lies as their primary tool. They create intricate webs of deceit to maintain their inflated self-image and control over others. Finally, we have the lack of empathy and compassion. This is a cornerstone of the disorder. They struggle to understand or even care about the feelings of others. People are seen not as individuals with emotions and needs, but as objects to be used for their own purposes. These characteristics combine to form a picture of a person who is not just self-centered, but actively harmful to those around them. These individuals are not the common garden variety narcissists. They are a more severe variant with traits that can lead to serious harm. Also, remember these traits are not isolated. They often occur together, creating a complex and challenging personality structure that makes relationships with malignant narcissists particularly difficult and damaging. These characteristics not only define the malignant narcissist, but also lay the groundwork for the harm they can cause. It's important to understand these traits to recognize the potential danger and to seek help when necessary. The impact of malignant narcissism can be deeply damaging. The reverberations of such a personality disorder can echo through every facet of a person's life, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The damage caused by malignant narcissists isn't always immediately apparent, but it can be profound and long-lasting. One of the most significant areas of impact is relationships. The manipulative and aggressive behavior of malignant narcissists can cause severe harm to partners, family members, friends, and colleagues. Their grandiose sense of entitlement, coupled with a complete lack of empathy, can lead to exploitative relationships characterized by emotional and psychological abuse. This abuse can manifest in various ways such as gaslighting, belittling, and constant criticism, which can gradually erode a person's self-esteem and sense of reality. Victims of malignant narcissists often experience a wide range of emotional and psychological effects. The constant manipulation and deceit can lead to conditions such as anxiety, depression, and even post-traumatic stress disorder. The psychological toll of being in a relationship with a malignant narcissist, whether it's romantic, familial, or professional, can be incredibly heavy. But the dangers of malignant narcissism extend beyond just emotional and psychological harm. The combination of aggression and lack of empathy can make malignant narcissists potentially dangerous, particularly if they feel their inflated self-image is being threatened or challenged. Their propensity for sadistic and aggressive behavior may escalate into physical violence, further compounding the harm they cause. However, it's crucial to remember that the term malignant narcissist isn't a label to be thrown around lightly. 
Diagnosing personality disorders is a complex process that should be left to qualified mental health professionals. Mislabeling someone can lead to stigmatization and further harm. The focus should be not on labeling, but on understanding the potential harm caused by such individuals and providing support to those affected. Recognizing the signs and understanding the impact of malignant narcissism can help victims and their loved ones seek the necessary help and protection. It's clear that malignant narcissism can have a devastating impact. But remember, diagnosing personality disorders is not a casual affair. Opening. Diagnosing personality disorders requires a professional hand. Navigating the labyrinth of the human mind is no easy task. The complexities of personality disorders, such as malignant narcissism, demand the expertise of qualified mental health professionals. It's not a matter of ticking boxes on a checklist. It involves a comprehensive evaluation of an individual's patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving. Casually tossing around labels like malignant narcissist can be stigmatizing and potentially harmful. It's crucial to remember that these terms are not meant to demonize, but to understand and navigate difficult situations. The focus should be less on the label and more on the potential harm caused by such individuals. Supporting victims is equally significant. It's about providing a safe space for them to express their struggles, helping them understand what they're dealing with, and guiding them on how to cope. Closing. When dealing with potential malignant narcissism, seeking professional help is crucial. If you're worried about a malignant narcissist in your life, remember, help is available. It's vital that you don't try to navigate this complex and potentially dangerous situation alone. There are professionals who are trained specifically to deal with personality disorders and their impacts. Therapists and counselors are equipped with the necessary tools to provide support and guidance. These professionals can help you understand the situation better and offer strategies to protect yourself emotionally and psychologically. If you're concerned about someone else, they can guide you on how to approach the situation without causing further harm. It's important to remember that you're not expected to diagnose or treat malignant narcissism. Your role is to seek help when you notice signs that concern you. Let the professionals handle the rest. Understanding malignant narcissism is the first step. Remember, there's always help and support available. You're not alone.